to this is with them. So this is a um, a complete circuit diagram for Wayek 2025 Physics 3 Alternative A Question Number 3 Electricity. We are asked to provide the key. We are asked to provide the ammeter. My ammeter is a two-way ammeter. The the up calibration reads from 0 to 1 and the down calibration reads from 0 to 3. So when you connect from here to here, it will read 0 to 1. So it is a 2 in 1 ammeter. Okay, they ask us to provide Rx, which is a standard resistor. This is the standard resistor here. And it, the value is 1 ohm. Remember, resistor has no polarity, so you can change it. You can alternate it and connect it this way and to still go back again. So that is that for that. And then they asked us to provide 1.5 volt, two cells. These are one, two, two cells. The two gives you a battery. So this is 1.5 plus 1.5, and that gives us um, three volts. And then they asked us to provide the potentiometer. This is the potentiometer we have in our lab, a very standard one. Uh, it is connected right here. It is connected in series with the circuit. So this is the potentiometer and this is the connection here. And then they ask us to provide voltmeter uh, 0 to 2. Our own can read 0 to 3, so you are, you, are you are still good to connect with this one as well. And then connecting wires. And then they ask us to provide the potentiometer. This is the, the potentiometer. And then lastly, they ask us to pro provide the jockey. Jockey and then connecting wires. So to make this work simple for you, first things first, uh, let's count the number of wires involved in this connection. This is one, this is one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's count. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. So our connecting wires are all uh, complete. So now, uh, what is the use of the potentiometer in this experiment? The reason why I'm making this video lastly is that I have so much potentiometer experiments on my channel. And that is why I am making this video last, as the last video. The only thing is that the other videos I have on the channel uh, does not have the potentiometer. Like last year's experiment, there was a potentiometer and we have to use two different uh, wires. Are we good? So now, what is the function of the potentiometer in this experiment? The function of this potentiometer, uh, the function of the potentiometer in this experiment is to vary the current. To the best of my knowledge, on the D-Day, examiners will ask you to vary the potentiometer. Like slide it, the way it is connected, if you slide it, bring it down. The way it is connected, if you slide it, okay, let me connect the circuit so that's what I'm saying. The circuit is connected. And uh, you can see that it is reading, please bring it close. The circuit is connected. It's connected. And so it is reading. Now, observe what happens when I slide the jockey to the left. I mean, the, the real starts, sorry, the real starts to the left. So, observe something. You see, it is increasing. It is increasing. The current is increasing, 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 and maximum. And so, on the D day, the examiners may ask you to vary the real starts and record the maximum current and the maximum voltage. And that is exactly what you have right here. This, this is exactly how your table of values will or may look like. The length of the potentiometer in different segments, the voltage, the current, the L inverse, the V inverse, and then the I inverse. So they ask you to find maximum current. And in this case, our maximum current is what? Let's read. We are reading the up calibration. The up calibration. 
So this is a uh, um, So our maximum current here, how do you get it? 0 0.2 is the calibration for the up, is the value for, I mean, is how the up, uh, 0 0.2 is the calibration for the up uh, reading. So 0 0.2 divided by 10 small, small lines, uh, 0 0.2 divided by 10, that gives us 0 0.02. So let's count where this point is. So this is, this is 10, 11, 12. So 0 0.02 times 12 times 12, that gives us 0 0.24. So our maximum current here is 0 0.24 amps. When you come back to the voltage, what do you have here? This is a one divided by 10 gives you the value for each calibration. So one divided by 10 gives you 0 0.01. So let's count, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7.5 times 7, uh, 0. Point, 0 0.1 times 7.5. That gives you 0 0.75 volts. So our maximum voltage here is a 0 0.75 volts. To the best of my knowledge, this is what we have on the DD. They will, act, you, they will actually connect the circuit without tapping the jockey on it, the way it is like this. And then they will actually to vary the potential, I mean the, yeah, the real start. And then record the maximum current and then the maximum uh, voltage. The next thing will, that will happen on the D-Day is that they will now give you various lengths of this. I don't know how the length will be. It may start from 20.00, and then uh, 40.00, and then let's say 60.00, and then let's say um, 80.00, and then let's say 100.00. And then at this various length, you are going to have various voltage and various current. And then at the end of the day, they will ask you to find uh, V inverse, uh, L inverse, V inverse, and I inverse. Don't forget, you have to record this, this, this to three decimal places. Why this, this, this to two, this, this, this with, uh, to two decimal places. So the next thing we have to do here is um, I'm going to teach you how this circuit was connected. Now, this is the circuit. The first thing that we have to do is place, I may I start my connection from here, from the ammeter. I connected this wire, this wire, this is the wire here. Then the next up was the standard resistor, look at it here. It has no polarity. Then this wire is, look at the wire here. The next one is, is this, the battery racket. This is the battery racket. And uh, the plus side meaning the battery is connected to this direction. This is it here, that's the plus side. So you connect it there and then for the real start, this is it. One leg is connected here, and one leg is connected here. If you want to get the maximum Y sliding from here to here, you connect it here. If you want to get the maximum Y sliding from here to here, you connect this one to this place. So the, for the real start, this height is connected. So one leg of the real start is connected to the potentiometer. And then back again, uh, you have to switch this connection. The, the, the negative side of the voltmeter is connected to one leg of the left hand side of the potentiometer and then the jockey which i'm holding in my hand here is connected to also this so one two three you have one two three here so this line stands for the potentiometer so if you count you have four lines here one two three four back here again this is one two three and then this is four good to the right you have for the ammeter to the key the key is open now so this is the key it means the key is open. This is the rope to the key. This is the rope, I mean the, the wire here. Then this is the key. Next up, you have from the key to the potentiometer. And then from the plus, uh, the negative side uh, of the potentiometer, which is here, I mean of the, uh, of the vomitor to 
to this, to the potentiometer. Lastly, the voltmeter is connected across the potentiometer. So if you are asked to run the experiments, uh, you have to make your connection very tight. Initially when I came, my potentiometer was not working. So I have to use this and screw this very firm to the board. And the moment that was done, my potentiometer started reading. If your potentiometer is not working very well, you can get, you can improvise by putting a rope on this, it will also give you the result you are looking for. In this case, you have to use, in place of the jockey, you have to use a crocodile clip and be clicking at different points. You will definitely get the same result. So let's uh, tap the potentiometer, I mean the jockey, uh, along the potentiometer and see how it works. So let's observe what is going on here. Observe what is happening to the voltage and to the voltmeter and the ammeter. I am moving to the right. I am moving, tapping to the right. If you observe, based on this experiment, the voltmeter, the voltage is decreasing and the current is increasing. The voltage is decreasing and the current is increasing. Observe that again. The voltage is coming this way, reading left, the current is reading right, meaning there will be a decrease and increase uh, trend. Okay, see that again. So that is the reading I got from my experiment. Now, I brought this in here on the detail of the experiment, you have to be very, very careful on your readings. Now, if you, if you are not too sure that you can read this in very well, get a digital voltmeter and this will place here. And then next up, also get a digital what? Ammeter. It will help you seriously. Now, let's connect and see how the reading will be on the digital ammeter and then the voltmeter. So I have replaced my analog voltmeter with my digital voltmeter. Look at it here. I want to get precise reading. And I have replaced my digital analog ammeter with a, a digital uh, voltmeter. Now, I mean, uh, yeah, ammeter. So let's see the readings. So uh, I'm going to connect this now. You see, this is zero. 0.21 and this is a 0 0.558 something close to that so we can record that uh, this is a 0 0.21 or 0 0.58 now let's try to play around this now we will be touching the potentiometer at different points I want to touch at 20 to see what happens so the, the battery ran down and I have to remove the battery and replace the battery. So this is, uh, let me take this again. I want to vary my real star to get the maximum reading. Watch again. Watch what happens there. I'm taking it to the left or down to where I'm standing. And uh, that is the maximum reading. 21, 0 0.21 amps and then 0 0.60 volts okay now i am tapping this here this is 20 against 80 see what happens uh, there's a change here there's an increase here uh, uh, sorry there's a decrease here this one still remains constant a little bit there's a decrease here 0. 
to 0.57. Now I am at at 30. This one is 0 0.54. I am at 50 now. This one is uh, 0 0.48, 0 0.22. I am at 60 now. This one is 0 0.44, 0 0.223. I am at 70 now. Uh, 0 0.4, 0 point. 0.23 no little change so we are at 70 now this is 0 0.37 and then the current is reading 0 0.23 we are at 80 now we are at 80 80 against 20 and this is what we have 0. 14 uh, 0 0.12 then that then let's touch the let's touch 90 and then that is what we have on the other side there. so in any case on the D day this is how your table of values will look like um i wish you guys success in your exams distance yourself from examination and practice read hard and leave the rest to god so let's see what type of connection will have but i'm very sure the connection will not be far from what you are seeing here will not be far from this the connection will not be far from this so try and let's see how your experiment will look like. Now, lastly, uh, based on based on this equation, I am supposing that as the length is increasing, the voltage will increase and the current will be decreasing. Thank you and good luck to all of you.